This video will cover the steps you should take when starting up your StrikePod system. First, turn on each StrikePod so that you can verify that the target number and channel number are known. Bear in mind, if the white light on the battery is not turned on, you must turn it on first, then click the toggle switch located here. If the white light on the battery was already turned on from the day before, turn it off, then back on, then you can click the toggle switch. In any case, always look at the target display so you can identify the target number and channel. All strike pods should be labeled as different target numbers, but identified with the same channel. In this video, you can see that the red strike pod is addressed as target 1 on channel 3. The orange pod is addressed as target 4 on channel 3. The black pod is target 5 on channel 3. The blue pod is target 3 on channel 3. And the yellow pod is target 2 on channel 3. We've identified that all targets are addressed accordingly with the same channel number. Now, turn on the CPU and connect the SmartFit app. Make sure that the SmartFit app matches the same channel number your strike pods are on. You can set this in the Settings tab located here. Select Manage Connections and click the CPU ID number. The app will notify you that all targets were found. You can now access the Play tab to begin using your SmartFit strike pods.